Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, VK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out. A lot of people have been asking me this question. They would like to know, what is my build for my sharpshooter? Now, um... Some of you guys, you probably have already seen this before, or you 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 know you might this this is pretty much an update video for everybody. But some people have not seen the video before. We got a lot of new subscribers. You know it's Christmas time. A lot of people just getting the game. So if you see some videos that you feel like are repeat repeats uh, to you, don't worry. Uh, it's only because some people have just subscribed and they don't want to go back through and look at the videos and stuff like that, and that's perfectly fine. Now. What I have is, uh, and this is the same thing that I built last year, I built the 6'9 small forward sharpshooter. Um, that's that's basically what it is. 6'9 small forward sharpshooter. Uh, my shooter can shoot, uh, I can rebound, I can get steals, I can do all that stuff, man. It doesn't matter, I put it on Hall of Fame. Um, you know, some people actually think that matters. It really doesn't matter. Hall of Fame this year really only matters if shots are contested, you know what I'm saying? So. If a shot is contested or uh, if it's not as open or if you're moving or something, that's when Hall of Fame really matters. It really doesn't matter for for wide open shots. But, uh, you know, some people feel like, hey, uh, they're showing you how good that jump shot is. They put it on Hall of Fame. Y'all see I'm greening at the same rate. It really doesn't matter. My jump shot, um, a lot of people ask me what a jump shot is. I'm going to show you guys all that in one second. Um, I normally don't like to show people stuff. But, I mean, a lot of people like a lot of people been asking, so I might as well show them, right? Um, so, let's just get right into it, man. I'm trying not to hold you guys up too long. Check it out. Boom, my player inventory. This is it. Write it down, take a picture. I don't care what you do with it, but this is what you want to end up with something like this. And I will explain each category. Shooting off the dribble. Um, let's go like we're going to go to upgrades so that we can... Uh, Let's see. All right, check it out. Shot close. Uh, shoot off the dribble and shoot uh, shoot mid-range uh, shot three. Whatever it is, man, check it out. You don't even care about that. The only thing that you care about in this category is shot close. That's why I have it maxed out. If you are starting off with your sharpshooter, you can neglect this category. You don't have to put anything in it. I probably need to do my sharpshooter from the beginning video, and I will when I get to PlayStation uh, 4. Um, I'm going to set that up today. We're probably going to be doing some of that today layups and dunks man my standing layup goes up to 70 that's all it goes up to everything is round numbers my belief system is that if something is a zero or a five it matters if it's anything in between it does not matter that's something that I've, i have gone with and sworn by since since live when creating players you know live i mean i've been playing since live 95 double dribble all this stuff man i'm super old so it is what it is uh hey but uh, age is a blessing. But anyway, check it out. So shooting off the dribble. Yeah, I, I had the shot close 77, and I was worried about that. But, I mean, it doesn't matter because my shooting off the dribble is 70. It rounds out at 70. I'm cool with that. Uh, power, I'm a sharp shooter. I'm a 6'9", uh, small forward. I don't know if my weight is. Like 232, something like that. I think I made it because I thought that it mattered for Bruiser. If you want to do, if you don't care, um, you know, you don't, you don't want, you're don't you not worried about strength or anything. Just put it all the way down, and you'll be faster or what have you. Uh, so layups and dunks are up. Uh, driving layup, 65. So, you know, standing dunk, 70. Which ain't too bad. That driving dunk is trash, though. That's why I always do the reverse. Mid-range shooting. You can leave it at 85. You could honestly leave your three-pointer at 85. Okay? You could. I think I maxed out my, um, my arm length, and that's why I don't have 94 shooting. And uh, so it, I think it would be 94, but but maxing out your arm, then it goes down to 91. So I really don't care um, because it's over 90. That's all I care about. Left post scoring alone, agility all the way up. As you can see, 65 speed, 65 acceleration, 66 vertical. You need you, you gotta have, you gotta max your agility out. That's good. I put my strength. My strength would have maxed out at like 64. So I lifted at 61 because the lowest it could be was uh, 61. So I lifted at that. Okay. Um, Rebounding, I put it up to 70. That's why I didn't put the extra point because I didn't care about 71, 72, 73 rebounding. I wanted, as you can see, my theme is that. Ball control, I left it right there, 65. I think it maxed out at like 69. 
And um and like I said, you all know y'all y'all know what I'm talking about when I say that though. I don't care. You see where my guy goes. You see what I can do with him. I can pass. I can um dribble a little bit, and all of that. And uh, my passing would have gone like I think everything would have just gone up to 69. So that would have been that. And defense, I put it all the way up. Yes, my lateral quickness is low, but my blocking is 75. And that was the only reason I was like, well, I pushed this all the way up because my blocking is 75. Uh, on the account that I have longer arms. But these two categories are why I'm not afraid of any big men. Um, if, you, if you're going to do it, this is the order that I would do it in. Put your shooting up to 85. Both shots up to 85. Max out agility. Put playmaking at 65. And then max out defense. That's how you would want to do it. Right. And then finish up, finish maxing out your defense, and then you can put your dunks and layups too. I think, you, I think, I think the way that I did, you can put your dunks and layups all the way up, put these up to eighty-five, uh, agility all the way up, and then defending all the way up, and then playmaking up to sixty-five. I think you can do that and still have, you know, you might have some points, you might not have any points, but don't worry about it. And then you fill out, um, you know, off the shooting, off the dribbling, and all that other good stuff. But really. So you're gonna be catching the shooting most of the time. If you're if you're shooting off the dribble as a sharpshooter, you're probably doing it wrong. So that's why I, I suggest you know building them like that. That's my final build. Let me show you like my my little styles and stuff like that, man. I mean, all my animations. Uh, only thing you really probably need to worry about is my dunks and layups. And all I have is you know I got regular dunks under the rim, straight arm tomahawks, and the baseline reverse. Now, I probably need to change that. I want to change that to cockbacks. The Tomahawks weren't getting blocked last year, but this year the straight arm Tomahawks are getting blocked like a, a lot. Like I'm seeing slashers uh, get blocked on those. So, uh, so I would not suggest the straight arm Tomahawks this year. I would suggest the cockbacks. Let me see. Uh, basic. Let's, let's find the cockbacks. Because those are the ones that Nunu used and Nunu, Nunu, Never, ever. There you go. You want the cockback. That's what you want. You want the cockback um, the cockback tomahawks. Cause those hardly ever get blocked. Like I see, um, I see Nunu use them all the time. He never gets blocked, ever. So the cockback tomahawks are, are the move this year. Uh, let me make sure that there, there are no other cockbacks. Cause I think that's all that. Um, I'm pretty sure that those are the ones that Nunu uses. And, um, you know, the 360s, yeah, but I, I can't do 360s. So uh, so we're going to go with the cockback tomahawks. And um, like I said, for whatever reason, those appear to work a lot better than uh, than anything else. And I'm just sitting here rambling on, man, and just talking. I was just looking at the dunks or whatever. So, again, the straight arm tomahawks are not the move this year. This year, the cockbacks are the move. So uh, that would be that. And uh, like I said, man, your dunking is going to be trash anyway. So I would definitely use the reverse. And put your cell phone camera relative. I mean, take take that camera relative off, man. Just please, please take off the camera relative. Because with the camera relative, you're going to get, um, you know, you're going to, it, it ain't going to be good for you, man. Because if you want to, if you want to, um, Hold on. Okay, there we go. If you want to use the reverse, then then um, it, it's gonna mess you up way too much because to do the reverse, what you have to do is you gotta drive and then pull the stick toward the baseline and then hit reverse dunk it. You gonna hit that reverse dunk as long as there's nobody. Like let's say if I'm coming from right here, you gonna hit that reverse dunk every time as long as there's nobody on this side of the rim. So if you're coming from there, if somebody's right here or right here, it's gonna get blocked. I'm going to tell you that now. Last year it was unblockable. But uh, this year you just got to be mindful. Um, you can go all the way under the goal and try to do it sometimes too. But uh, that's what you want to do with that. And like I said, the cockbacks, they, um, I, I would have to leave out and come back in and do the cockbacks. But, um, you know, y'all don't have to worry about that. The only thing is, I just want them to do all my, I want to do all my dunks off of one. And um, am I on camera relative? That's insane. I should not be doing. I shouldn't be doing that, man. This shouldn't. That shouldn't be happening. Uh, no, I'm on absolute. But uh, you don't want to do any. You want to have all your dunks off of one foot. Is pretty much what I'm saying. So you don't want to have any dunks off of, off of, uh, off of two. Yeah. So that's, those are the cockbacks. So you know it is what it is. Um. 
and my little boy is, is in here just talking himself to death. So those that you want, man, you don't want the straight on Tomahawks anymore. You want that. And uh, that's really the bill that I got for him, man. Uh, my jump shot is Paul George, just in case y'all were wondering. But uh, it's not a hard jump shot to, to master, but it's, it's really, it takes a lot of time, man. So if you want to improve your jumper, get out here, get in the gym, shoot for about an hour with, uh, with it on, with it on uh, whatever I'm doing. And on, um, what the hell am I doing, though? Uh, LJ, what am I playing on? Hall of Fame. Put yourself on Hall of Fame. Come out here, shoot for about an hour. You will get the hang. Yes, it is a silo. Uh, you will get the hang of it. And then that's all you got to do, man. My little boy is ready to go, so we about to go get us something to eat. And uh, if y'all want any more tutorials, you just let me know. But somebody asked for this video. They wanted the full bill, so I figured I'd give it to you. And like I said, I'm on Hall of Fame, and I have no trouble shooting the basketball. But I'm a shooter, man. Like, that's what I am in this game. And uh, I also have my lockdown defender. And I'm... I'm a, I don't know what's going to be the first. Am I going to make my shooter or my lockdown defender first on PlayStation 4? But uh, I'm on PlayStation 4. I just don't know what I'm going to. Um, I don't know what my name is yet. I think it's just my old, my old name. But I might I might have to do it again. Anyway, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this answered a lot of questions. And um, that's what I feel like is the best jump shot. Don't shoot off the meter. Shoot off rhythm. rhythm. I just use the meter for, uh, for confirmation. That's all I do. Anyway, I'm out of here. Till next time. Okay, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Holla! Tell him holla, LJ. Holla. Peace.